here in Houdini now, so I exported all the maps from here. I use the the direct link. You can just come to here and export export texture. The good thing of the link is that it set up the material for me uh, already in Houdini. So uh, when I come to the materials, I have like a sides, top, and bottom. So um, when I click inside, you already it's everything set uh, for me. So that's really good. And but anyway, it's pretty easy to just set up. Just like a, just takes uh, some time. And uh, the bottom here for now, because we don't have anything here, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just delete everything. I'm going to put like an RS material. Uh, I'm going to put to the surface and just give like this dark uh, gray or maybe a bit less. And yeah, no reflection. Yeah, maybe full roughness just and, and that's it. So yeah, maybe 1.1. So we have this, so I need to assign it to the to our terrain and let's do it. Um, okay, so section cut. Yeah, I, what I did here, I just created a box uh, just for to, just to have a look in the sea level, like um, water level. So here it is. Um, let me just put down a color node so I can see it better. Um, that's not what I'm going to do, uh, the way I'm going to do it for for this, but just to visualize. So here it is, like uh, you can see it. We have this section, we have like this, nice. Uh, what I did with the box, um, the terrain itself is 20 by 20. So what I did with the box, I just put like 19.9. So uh, we don't have like, a, we just have the, this tiny edge here. And uh, yeah, that's it. So. Let's come to this and um, yeah, I'll put it in here. So material node, oh, material node. We have like three different groups. So I'm having like um, one, two, three. First one, um, the top, side, base. It's the bottom, um, and that's it. So I need to just connect. Uh, I like to work with this, uh, normally I like to work with these uh, two separate um, windows linked. I explained in another video, but uh, just to get really uh, fast here, uh, you just like divide, split panel left and right, the same thing here, and you just click here and uh, you link number one to number one, number two to number two. So we have like when this is clicked, you have the attributes here, and when this is clicked, the attributes are there, and whatever is clicked is the one that you're looking at into your viewer so uh, I just like it because then I can come straight in here and so top I just bring the top then the side just bring the side and let's bring the base okay the naming yeah I could work better in the name so but it's it's not a big issue so yeah uh, let me make just like a, a very fast water material so RS builder okay let me call this um, word basic because then we can make a more complex shader. But just for now, uh, let's go. Let's start inside. Let me use um, connect to the surf, and then I'm going to use uh, water. That's a bit like um, uh, that's too transparent. We're going to tint it, but I'll do it later. For now, I think we can even go and use the subsurface scattering, the, multi, the subsurface multiple scattering. I like this because when it gets shallower, it gets like this tint and it's really good. So, but for now, I think, let me just come to here and put a lot of material node in here as well. Two node in here. And let me drag the water basic. Yeah, so we have everything set. Um, maybe I can, uh, yeah, maybe I can throw. I uh, know oh, I need to to do this actually for us to be able to see it properly. Uh, yeah, now I have the materials connected. So yeah, let me uh, put down a sunlight just for us to see. Go to redshift, going to save. Uh, 
Yeah, I think I'll have the sun coming from here, maybe. Yeah, like this, more like sideways, yeah. Something like the sun coming from here, maybe. So you just put in the position that you want, and then you press Control or Command, and press the sunlight. It's going to throw in the right position. If you press the the this lock um, icon here, uh, you, you're you just like uh, doing as you do with the camera, it's locked, so you're just changing the way the sun is is hitting your scene so yeah that's good um, and then I'm going to unlock change to my camera more or less like this just for us to start uh, and then the same thing control camera camera is already in this direction I'm going to press redshift it's going to bring me uh, let me just come in here uh, I will change a few things just like global illumination let me put like brute force and brute force uh, we can just change the settings here to 64, it's good for now, and yeah, that's it. So let me fire a render and let's see what we get. Yeah, here you have it. Uh, yeah, definitely we have like some issues with the water, the way it's, it's handling this is not good, like totally transparent, just like doing some refraction and weird things here and there, but Anyway, I think uh, we have a good starting point, yeah, I uh, see how uh, we have like this, the, maybe it's a bit too shiny in the sides, uh, we can change a few things, uh, yeah, definitely too shiny, uh, we can reduce a bit this BAMP channel, uh, let me use instead of, let, let's change this, the bucket rendering, yeah, it's giving more like this raw earth material, uh, it's still too shiny. We need to to make the refinement adjustments in the in this. But we we only going to do that when we have when we set up the real um, lighting for the scene. Uh, so far, uh, it's just wasting time to to tweak the because everything should go together. The lighting with the shading and and sometimes because of your light, you need to um, to get like a more saturation, more bumps, more more colors and and make it lighter or make it darker and and then it's just like a, you need to see what light you have and, and how you're going to approach depend on what you want to show because sometimes it's a technical project so you want to reveal more like what it matters sometimes it's more more just an artistic and you want to have like this more um, dramatic look and maybe darker tones and, and all this and in this case uh, we want to have like uh, uh, we need to show this. This is the main part of our uh, cutting here. So we're going to scatter the shells along this uh, area, uh, and we're going to work on our uh, water here. And yeah, but uh, I think we're doing great. And see you in the next lesson.